Actually, the first group we had, um, I had this, or we all had this experience that I want to share, is that um, he was a um, self-made, uh, really hardworking um, man who had built a company from scratch to 4,000 employees. So whenever his telephone will, will call, um, the family will physically pull away from him and give him space, like five or six meters. So he had his space to do his things. So in the morning, on the first day here in the camp, uh, he was up really early and he was standing looking at that fantastic view that we have overlooking the opposite direction where I'm sitting right now. And it was just quiet morning. The sun was just got up and there was ice all over and it was beautiful. And he was just discussing, I think actually it was with Elon Musk about something. And, um, and then he hung up and he stood for maybe 10, 15 minutes just looking out on the fjord. And he looked at me for a little while and he said, you know what, can you hold my phone? And he gave me his phone. And then they went on tour all day. And when he returned, it was a different person. He was childish and he was uh, playful. And you know, he pinched his wife's butt walking up the hills here. And, and I remember vividly that at the evening dinner, his 70 uh, year old son, he looked at his dad and he said, dad, have you been smoking weed or something? And all of a sudden, he had completely disconnected from, from, from that life and he reconnected with his family. And for the next four days, this family thrived, you know. Uh, they were interacting, they were playing on, in the evening and they were, you know, they were doing stuff I don't think they ever done. And you should have seen the kids, even though they were old teenagers. You know, that, that, was, just, that was just awesome. So, so this is actually what our camp is all about. This is about an opportunity to disconnect completely and then just let things happen and maybe you'll reconnect to something that you didn't even know you lost.